couple from the Chatala village in Assam is going to be the key to the NI, which is trying to crack the link between the state and the Burdwan blast. Let's get in the very latest from Wiki. Now, Wiki, who really this couple is and what really is the role that the NI believes that they had in this case? Yes, uh, in fact, these were the people who were managing the Assam module because it is uh, during the probe of the Burdwan blast, it was found that uh, the, uh, the Jamaat al Mujahid in Bangladesh was in fact operating in Assam as well. Now they have found the link man. Now uh, this uh, this person, Shanur Alam, along with his wife Sujna, uh, they, they ran a dental clinic in fact, I mean, that acted as a front. So what the NIA is accusing them of is that uh, they, they were, they, uh, they in fact uh, had uh, helped with the recruitment. They had around 70 odd people along with them uh, whom uh, they had helped, uh, you know, cross over from uh, Bangladesh in fact. But a more crucial uh, uh, c crucial aspect of the probe is that uh, uh, the, the NIA is looking into three of his bank accounts and also, you know, the money that has uh, been, uh, his which, come, uh, which used to come and fall into his clinic, which uh, his wife in fact used to be the transporter of the funds. Now, Vicky, isn't this then very significant information that you're getting to us that the NI officials who are on the hunt for the couple say that they worked in tandem and their primary responsibility here seems to move the money to Burdwan and also help uh, with the infiltrations into Assam from Bangladesh. What is their history? Have they forever been based in Assam? I mean, where all they have been earlier? Have there been any criminal cases against them? Have they been on the radar earlier? Uh, in fact, uh, the Assam police had, uh, in fact, uh, you know, red flagged uh, this person a couple of years back, but it, it was not... Uh it was not looked into very seriously. But uh, after the breaking you know, of the Badwan probe, in fact, it uh, it uh, came out loud and clear. Uh, there has been an incident uh, last year during the Eid celebration where he was, in fact, uh, trying to, uh, you know, celebrate Eid in the style where they celebrate in uh, Saudi or Kuwait, you know, very radical uh, style. And so he was, in fact, beaten up by the villagers. So uh, that itself, uh, you know, had uh, gone on to show his uh, mindset and how he was working for the JMB, which also has its ultimate goal of uh, establishing the Sharia law. Here. And you know, Vicky, talking about the Jamaat module, you're telling us more details about this couple uh, and also the fact that, that they were in touch with about 70 odd people. Now, who really these people were? What were their roles? What, what is the latest that you're getting to hear on that? In fact, uh, these 70 people, I mean, some of them were in fact uh, locals, in fact, who were close to the uh, uh, close to the dentist, in fact. And uh, the rest were all, you know, the thing is uh, how uh, it, it happens on a very regular basis, the infiltration which uh, which happens out there. So he had uh, helped uh, with these infiltrations and he had kept these 70 odd people uh, with the uh, with the intention. Because what the NI is saying is, you know, as opposed to the 58 modules that uh, have been found in West Bengal, Assam has got around 25. And for that, it was these 70 people who were helping him out. And, and Vicky, you know, the fact is uh, that because they've b been uh, based in Assam, do we have any knowledge about the fact that what kind of a local support did they pick up? Apart from these 70 odd people that you're telling us, any other, uh, you know, people, prominent people, whether it's politician, bureaucrats who were also in a way pushing them. Is that also a possibility that the police and the NI now could be looking at? Yes, uh, they, they would be looking in, uh, into that uh, that aspect as well because it's, uh, the operation out there has been very similar to the one uh, which was uh, carried out in West Bengal. In fact, in fact, uh, 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 some I mean they wouldn't say that you know top political leaders, but uh, uh, small time uh, leaders associated to some parties are under the scanner. In fact, you know, and also uh, when uh, infiltrations happen and when they come in with uh, valid uh, voter ID cards and passports, in fact, you know, some bureaucrats will also be under the scanner. And Vicky, now with these revelations uh, coming in, clearly there is an Assam role to this entire case. How really is the NI now going to be picking up clues? Are they already in touch with the Assam police sharing information with them? Uh, yes, in fact, uh, they have been working in tandem. In fact, in fact, even the chief minister had made it very clear that you know, there is there are these modules uh, which are working in Assam, which are quite dangerous. And in fact, even the chief minister had said they had uh, the same doctor couple had uh, planned on using some of these 70 uh, people to target religious uh, places also in a bit to uh, create, uh, you know, a communal instability in the place. Uh, so uh, so that is also one aspect uh, that they are looking into. But uh, the probe uh, between the NIA and uh, the Assam police uh, uh, doesn't uh, seem to have uh, hit any kind of uh, roadblocks. In fact, the information sharing has been uh, very good uh, between the two agencies.